Today we're making yogurt fruit clusters covered in chocolate. Now I'm making two flavors today. One is strawberry and almond and the other is blueberry and lemon with sliced almonds. And both of these, I like to pack it up with some protein powder. So I'm using some whey protein. You can use that if you like, or you can leave it out. These are easy to put together and they are relatively healthy. They have a lot of protein in them. And we try to keep the sugar a little bit low. So I'm Rockin' Robin, and I'm gonna show you how to make them right after my chef joke. What are twins' favorite fruit? Pears. Simple and sweet. <laughs> I'm starting off here with some whole milk yogurt. You can use any kind you like, Greek yogurt, whatever you prefer. And I'm gonna place that into a bowl with all my other ingredients. And I think I forgot to tell you that we're starting off here with the strawberry almond flavor. Now to that, I'm adding my protein powder. I'm using Naked Whey here. This blends in nicely by using a whisk to combine it. Don't forget, you can get the written recipe below the video in the description area. Once that's all combined, we're gonna add some sweetener free to use any sweetener you like, like honey or maple syrup, but I'm going to use a combination of liquid stevia and honey in this. Here I'm using six drops of the stevia and then I'm going to put about a teaspoon of honey in this. Give that honey a good squeeze, just like you would the like button if you're enjoying this video. Then I'll give that a little mix. We're going to add a little crunch to this by adding some sliced roasted almonds. I get mine from Trader Joe's so you don't have to roast them yourself. Toss those in and give it a little stir. Now we need to add our strawberries, so I have some organic ones here. I like to always use organic, especially with strawberries because, you know, they absorb more pesticides. So anyway, after you've rinsed them, go ahead and remove the stems and then slice these up nice and small. They should look something like this. After we've got about a cup full, then we're gonna add that to our mixture. Fold those strawberries in, and we're just about ready to start placing them on our baking sheet. Get yourself a baking sheet and line it with parchment paper. That way, they won't stick. I have a very small scoop here, which is perfect for these, and so you just basically wanna just scoop them up and place them right on the sheet. After making these a couple of times, I decided that they're a little bit messy, and so placing a toothpick in each one makes eating them so much easier and just neater. All you gotta do is make sure that that toothpick stays vertical and you're good to go, because once it freezes, it sticks really well. So my advice is to use the toothpick because it makes uh, dipping these in chocolate very easy to do, and it makes eating them much easier because the chocolate doesn't melt in your fingertips when you're eating it. Now I like to store mine in the freezer. They'll keep probably about a month nicely wrapped, and then in the refrigerator you could keep them for about three days. Probably the easiest way to do this is just put all your scoops out and then add all your toothpicks and just get them to stand up the best you can. And then pop this in the freezer for at least two hours. It must be time for chef joke number two. What do cats call mice on skateboards? Meals on wheels. <laughs> okay, we're gonna make our next flavor, which is lemon blueberry. So we're gonna go ahead and add the yogurt into the bowl like we did before. And then we're gonna whisk in our protein powder so it's nice and smooth. And next comes our lemon zest from our organic lemon. Plus we're gonna add a teaspoon or two of lemon juice. Then six drops of stevia, a teaspoon of honey, and we'll give it a good mix. We'll add the almonds, the blueberries, and then we'll give that a stir and we're ready to place it on our baking sheet just like the others. So with the blueberry ones, I'm not going to put the toothpicks in. These are also going in the freezer for at least two hours. Overnight is really best. To dip our yogurt clusters in chocolate, I'm using Guitard's milk chocolate, but feel free to use any kind you like. I'm gonna add some coconut oil to the chocolate so that it makes dipping the yogurt clusters much easier because the chocolate will be nice and thin. Once your chocolate is melted and smooth, then we can start dipping those frozen yogurt clusters. And I think you can see why having the toothpick in there makes dipping these in chocolate so much easier. And I think you can see that the chocolate's not too deep, so tipping the pan over allows it to get deeper and I can just dunk the whole thing in. So this is definitely how I would recommend dipping these in chocolate by using the toothpick. 
Now here's how I did it without the toothpicks and it is much more challenging and the chocolate does get a little bit hot, but you can do it. I mean, I've done it and it does work, but it's just messier. And sometimes I would just dip half of the cluster into the chocolate and that works too. I'm hoping you'll try both these flavors, the lemon, blueberry, and the strawberry, and let me know in the comments which one you like the best. The chocolate starts to firm up right away, but you still need to put these in the freezer to really chill them down before you eat them. And then you need to let them defrost when you take them out to eat them for one to three minutes. These really are a great treat for a summer day, so refreshing. And I have to say my favorite of these two was the strawberry, because probably because my strawberries were so sweet and delicious. If you love chocolate desserts, then you're going to want to try my three layer sun butter bars. They are delicious and easy to make. Click the link on the screen, it'll take you right to the recipe. I hope you enjoyed today's video. If you did, let me know by leaving me a comment and smashing the old like button. And if you want, share this video with someone who you know might enjoy it. All right, we'll see you back here next week for another delicious and healthy recipe.